Hey, good evening. It's uh, Friday, November 24th, Black Friday. Welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. Now, again, hope you had a blessed Thanksgiving. Loved hearing from your uh, comments and responses. It's such a blessing to me. So tonight, in, in honor of Black Friday, I want to talk about giving gifts. Because that's what Black Friday has become sort of synonymous with in our culture. We get the best prices to get the best deals to give the best gifts. And what we have to be careful about as God's people is not to give for the reasons that our culture says to give, but why does God say to give? So why do you give, why do you give gifts? Do you give to get something? A return or response from someone? Do you give to appease or make right or ease your guilt about not treating someone you know, throughout the year and you kind of make up for it for a gift? See, the motive between, behind those two reasons is really to gain an award for yourself. You're actually giving yourself the gift. Or do you give out of love simply because you care without expecting anything in return? More importantly, do you give because you want God to receive honor in what you do? Not you or me, but you want God to receive honor. We've got a really cool passage of scripture which kind of lays this out for us in pretty strong detail. And I think it's I think it fits exactly this time of year. It's been used in other situations and that's fine. But I'll make I'm gonna make application tonight to the gift giving of this time of year. It's in the opening of uh, Matthew chapter six. Be careful, Jesus is talking. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward with your Father in heaven. So whenever you give to the poor, don't sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be applauded by people. Truly, I tell you, they have the reward. See, they're not giving the gifts to the people. They're giving it to themselves. They have the reward. But when you give to the poor, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So that your giving, your giving is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. See, this is about an others-focused perspective on gift giving. And you say, wait, wait, wait. I'm giving a gift to someone. Isn't that all about others? Sadly, most of the time, no. Too many of the gifts that we give are all about us. And what do we get from it? What satisfaction do we get? Will we appease this person? Will we make them like us? That's not why you give gifts. See, giving is not about so that you can receive the applause or praise of people that you're giving the gift to. Like I said, when you do this, you're actually giving the gift to yourself because you're the one receiving what you really want. You're giving to get something. In the same way, giving is not done to right or wrong so that you can achieve atonement by the gift. If you're not spending enough time with someone, if you feel badly for the way you've treated them, you give them a gift to kind of make up for it. Well, it's fine to give the gift, but if that's the reason that you're giving the gift to make up for what you've done wrong or to try and make something right, that doesn't work. What's needed is repenting of the sin and behavior that caused the problem and changing that. Spend more time with that person. Be more genuine with them. See, giving a gift and continuing behavior the way it was 
Well, I'll make up for it. I know I'm not home enough, but I'll make up for it with this. You see, again, that makes, that's making the gift all about you. Hey, Echo. That's making the gift about you. And it's not really focused on someone else. See, if we're going to learn from the passage here, hey, girl, if we're going to learn from the passage. We need to see what's going on here. When Jesus says, when you give, don't make a show of it. That is, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Don't make a big deal of it. Don't make it some really big moment when really you're the center of attention, when it ought to be the person you're giving the gift to. That's what's happening. That's what God is calling us to do here. Echo, I think she's getting ready to jump and cause trouble. Maybe she'll just, oh, there, she's sitting down now. That's good. You've heard her cause a ruckus before. You see, it doesn't mean that you have to give no-name anonymous gifts. It just means that you need not to be the center of the gift. You don't give to get a reward from the person. You give to bring honor to God and let him reward in his time. If you buy into this, literally, no pun intended, if you buy into this, this will stop your gift giving from being manipulative and self-serving. It'll keep us from seeking the praise, the applause of other people. Rather, the idea of giving this gift is to bring honor to God. See, that means that I don't need to go into extreme levels of debt to make someone happy. Because it's not being done for a good reason for them. It's not honoring God. And being in debt doesn't doesn't help us. Gift giving is first of all to bring honor to the Father. And if I can give a gift to someone that truly honors God and blesses that person, and not make me the center of it, and not be all hurt or crushed if the person doesn't like my gift. But rather, if I give because I know them, because I really care about them, you may even sacrifice to give the gift. That's wonderful. But don't make it about you. Don't do it to receive back. Do it to truly give. See, that'll keep us from being like the hypocrites that are spoken of in this passage when we're practicing our righteousness in front of other people so that we'll get something that will make us happy. Where we're the ones who are really actually giving the gift, getting the gift. This is a radically different way about gift giving. In this time of year, we are inundated with perspectives about giving that are not at all what God intended. So I thought that's the thought for this Black Friday. No. Give us a thought. No, we can talk more about it if you'd like. But let's make our gifts truly gifts to other people and not about for us. And that's the thought for this night. Again, love your thoughts and feedback and uh, Lord willing, We'll talk to you tomorrow. You have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.